G'day, this is Captain Uber, and this is an FG-42. This is a weapon of German design that was developed later during the Second World War. The purpose of this weapon was just to give to the German paratroopers who would jump out of planes and stuff, and they didn't want to have two bigger guns sort of bugging them down, or when they get to the surface, they didn't want to have to carry around big old machine guns. So what they did was they made this thing. It's a considerably less bulky machine gun type weapon, but fires the 8mm Mauser rounds, which I'm pretty sure are 7.92mm, but they must have rounded up here. I got no idea whether that's supposed to be a different round or not, but basically you get the power of a 308. That they're about the same size, maybe a bit different in terms of how much power you get, because the cartridge for these rounds is slightly longer. But Big powerful bullets with a much less bulky platform as compared to some of the guns of that time. So they weren't messing around with submachine guns or the MP40s. They were using these big boy guns. So you get a little bit of customization. This not too much, but I think it's worth mentioning that the Germans, they were good at making stuff. You know, the meme is precision German engineering or something. Um, and the Americans actually adopted some of the, uh, I guess, inner workings of this on the M60 machine gun, which would be around during the Vietnam War years later. So, you know, unfortunately, Germany used most of their engineering prowess for evil, but, you know, there's a little bit of history that should be learned here. And let me just chuck my phone away, because Twitter's being annoying, but yeah. That's the story of this thing. How does it go in Fallout 4? Well, we'll find out. This is actually not the first time I've done an FG-42, but I think this one looks a lot better off the bat here. So, you get the receivers. You can either have a closed bolt, which is that, and you get an old-fashioned uh, scoop and other rail mounting on it. Or you could have a Picatinny rail there, and that allows you to just to chuck on modern-day optics, which kind of doesn't work. I mean... Obviously, it's a World War II gun, so it looks a lot better with the optics and looks of stuff at the time. But yeah, you can chuck on some modern reflex sights if you feel like it. I'm going to leave this one without that, but we'll definitely try to uh, see what this thing looks like with those uh, modern sights. So right now, we can, we've can we got a factory optic, which is just the short range scope equivalent. And it's got the same sort of uh, scope pattern thing at the reticule as the short scope you can also have folded and unfolded sights i don't recommend using these because the camera hasn't been um, modified in a way that actually makes you look down these sights it sort of sits over and that's especially um apparent if you use the folded ones because you'll be basically aiming with nothing and you'll have only the middle of the screen to actually know where your bullets are going so maybe some improvements can be made there can't put a suppressor on it but you can take the compensator off which i'm not going to do we're going to be sacrificing a bit of range but this thing kicks a lot so we're going to be leaving that compensator on legendary effect is there if you need it we probably don't need it doing 478 damage right now that would have just jumped up a little bit because it's now currently night that gives me an extra five percent and you can change the sounds it makes from battlefield 5 to a wolfenstein game i think that's where it comes from from like 2001 or something so we'll be giving both of these things Hey, listen, also, I'm pretty sure that's a Thanos reference right there. Never played Battlefield 5. And you can unfold or fold the front side if you feel like it. So if you've got a scope on, you want that thing out of the way, you can fold it right up. And you can have a polymer or wooden handguard. So if you want to make this look authentic like it was at a Germany or from Berlin or something, you can do that. Unfortunately, you don't get a little bit of a weight... Um, a gaining or rather a weight reduction of the weapon with the polymer hand grip even though i'm pretty sure the polymer is slightly lighter than the timber but that's kind of it i guess um also one of these one of these um customization things is like shipped from berlin or something i, I can't remember which one it was but apparently there's an amazon service that has just been shipping guns over from europe so that's interesting that's that's law friendly. Jeff Bezos is a ghoul and he's got his drones dropping guns around. So getting this weapon is fairly straightforward. It says on the mod page that all you need to do is go through the Jamaica plane thingy. And we'll just step all the way through that. I probably should have packed some ammo. Take this. There's the bash animation. This mod also comes with stick grenades, and that's what they look like, and you throw them. 
like he would with grenades and you sort of pass them like underarm. Um, there's also a giant long fuse on them, so that should be mentioned. And now that turrets are destroyed, we can go in here. And then we've got the mayor's password. And then we press the button and we go inside. And there's already a gun here. <laughs> One of the anti-material rifles. But there we go. There's our FG-42. And um, some grenades. And also... 8 by 57 Maybe they're different Mauser rounds than I thought. But, yep, there it is. It's kind of weird to have a German weapon of World War II era to be playing in a room giving me patriotic American music. The timeline's all messed up thanks to this mod. I take it back, it's not law friendly. So I've installed the Picatinny rail thing and also the polymer handguard. This will be my modernized version. All I need is a foregrip and I'll just quickly scroll through all of the scopes and things you can put on it. Yep, there's a lot. I'm going to go with the Aerotech with the magnifier for, for a times two thing. We get a little bit of zooming on our thing and uh, wait, we've already, had a, we've already got a scope, but honestly times two might suit this a little bit better. Is that cursed? Who knows? Oh, so another thing I should probably mention is there is an optional ASP download on the Nexus page, which will just add it to the leveled list, so you'll find it on enemies and everything. But if you want to grab it for sure, definitely go in the Jamaica Plain place. And if you don't know where that is, it's right there. There. And there's some other things, like Gunners Plaza is right there, and there's like a Diamond City here. I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone knows where this place is now also um you can use it with classic holstered weapons but then the 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 magazine goes through your neck and it doesn't look very comfortable another thing i should mention is that this thing uses the 8x57 millimeter uh mauser rounds not the less than eight not the 7.92 so they're about the size of the 3006 rounds which pretty big bullets and it's reflected by the damage i've actually seen on the nexus that the people are complaining like this way this thing does way too much damage no it's fine it's almost 500 I, I got a lot of damage reduction to shoot through so i'm okay with this Alrighty, so we're in Gunners Plaza in the daylight here, and we should have a bit of fun here. I'll quickly give you a look at these things in third person, because you've already seen them quite enough in first person, I think. They're, they don't look that bulky. Maybe they're a little bit heavy, but they look kind of sleek. Maybe that's part of the design. Anyways, Gunners! Oh, this thing sounds so good. That would be the Battlefield 5 sounds, by the way. Yeah, that's good. There's a reload animation. You saw the bash animation before. I don't even have to hit him to make him die. He just falls by himself. Alright, and I'll give you a listen to the other sounds as well, because... Fair play. I won't shoot at that one. He's taking some good cover. That's a sniper knockdown. Okay, so one of the issues that um, this mod has, and that they've listed on the Nexus page, is that... We don't have um, automatic animations yet, which means this thing is actually giving me semi-auto animations. And if it's semi-auto and it's got a scope, I get knocked down. So, um, I might be pressing the overpowered button in this one, I'll tell you that much, but... Oh man, one thing you can always rely on dice in their games are they can be buggy as shit and just terrible the artist team that makes the bloody sound of the guns oh it's always so good especially the scar h from from battlefield 4 i can't get enough that's my favorite gun ever because of battlefield 4 is just so good in that game but this thing it's so good it doesn't fire super fast but it hits like a bloody truck and you can feel the power here Oh, it's so good. This is such a fun weapon. The time to kill here is just so minimal that... One, two, three, four, five shots, and that's enough to do them in. And if you miss, it's a lot more. But even that, oh, it's just such a cool thing. I think they've really done the weapon justice here. It's, and like I said, it's not the first um, FG42 I've done on the channel. But this one, I feel, is just so much better. And we might be finished with the gunners already here. And maybe it's a good thing that I don't have a suppressor on it. 
So this thing can be loud and proud all the time, but they just didn't give it a suppressor because well, I guess it, I, they didn't need it. So that was good. Let's go and find some monsters. Righto, so we're going to be taking on Swan, who is somewhere, and maybe we could get a little bit of use on this thing in that. He's not down here, is he? Oh, that's a farmer. Oh, it's this random event where he's being attacked by dogs. Today, I think he's got bigger problems. So, we're going to try to stealth commander with this thing, perhaps foolishly, and I can see the bullets. What? This thing is not hit scan. I mean, it sure looks like it there, but if I'm shooting and holding down the trigger, I can see bullets. And also, I'm stealth commanding because it takes more than uh, the removal of a suppressor to get me to stop stealth commanding. Now, I haven't used this thing in VATS all that much yet, but considering how this thing is like semi auto, but not actually, but not really. Hang on a second. I'm going to get a bit of gun food damage here. Little dog's helping, but uh, the best way he can help is to give me a slightly higher damage on Swan here. Oh, I can't even hit him. Why couldn't I hit him? No idea. That was weird. The bullets just didn't happen. Maybe they're cheap mouths around. You, you never know what the bloody Swiss are giving you these days. That was a completely unnecessary critical, but we must have got a Grim Reaper sprint because that crit didn't happen. And right as I said that, I did. And we got nice 1100 bits of damage on his face as we crit it, so we'll keep that going. What if we can hold down the crit button? Well, does that work? I'm gonna try that. I've always liked hammering crit, hammering space. Okay, we'll, we will remain hammering because that didn't work out. So, all pretty well and good so far. I think the fact that we can knock him down despite having an automatic weapon does uh, put that put this fight in our favor a little bit. And, ah, probably time to run, Camille. That's right, run right through his legs. And, uh, that's cool. That's fine. And that should be Nerd Rage. Yep. She's pissed off. I'm gonna... No, I'm not going to do that. In fact, I'm going to exit out of that and then shoot at him like this. That's him knocked down, and then we'll, that's reloading. We'll switch back over to this one and shoot him a little bit more. Yes, that's the way to do it. The sounds don't sound quite as impressive when played in slow motion, but you know they made an attempt to make it sound distinct in slow motion, so that's cool. They could have just used the vanilla sounds. They chose to not do that. I can commend them for that. All right, so that was pretty good. I don't think we'll get much better performance out of that as it is, and there's not a lot of ways where I can think I could make this a lot better rather than chucking legendary effects on, so I guess we could chuck legendary effects on. I don't see why not. Alrighty, we've spiced these weapons up with a little bit of legendary effects. This one has explosive bullets, and this one has instigating, so we're going to be sniping a little bit. As we start off, we're doing a bit of stealth rifleman, but also commander. That guy got hit for a lot and reacted like such. And there's, I don't know, there's something off about these projectiles. Sometimes they just don't hit, and it looks like they're definitely not hit scan. But <laughs> you can just see the bullet just traveling through the air. It's kind of weird. If you look closely, it's more apparent when I'm actually shooting stuff um, over... Uh, range and shooting rapidly, but you can definitely see it in the scope. It makes the bullets look big, if nothing else. It's like we're firing giant basketballs around our enemies, so that's amusing. And why is that guy sleeping? That's kind of weird. Anyways, we'll try to keep sniping, and for some reason that bullet's getting stopped by something. Uh, finally found the headshot there. I think there goes a vertebird. That's a pretty standard happening around here. Uh, some, there's just the vertebrates that get outgunned by the super mutants there. One of them does have a, a, a missile launcher, I think, and there's a couple of... No, I don't think there's a fat man dude there. It's just a missile launcher there. Um, so, what we'll do is we'll take out this Milo Queen. We'll see if we can't do it in one shot. We've got no criticals, though, so maybe we won't be able to. Let's see how we go. 606, 130. So... You get a pretty good amount of sneak crit damage there, and we probably should have used that time to build up a few criticals, because our next thing is that. Also, 
the weapon meshes are full precision because it's giving me this weird splashy effect, right? It's part of, like, a uh, weapon. It's a part of the mod that makes you, like, drip when you're wet. Uh, after you swim and stuff. It's immersion, but full precision meshes make it do that, and that's not good. Nice little hit for 1900 there, for starters. That's a good start, but we'll bring out our explosive one. Now, explosive isn't going off a proportion like it is in Fallout 76. Um, it gives you a, a small proportion in 76, but this one is just a flat little bit of extra damage, and it's enough to do 56 here. I think it starts off at 15, but you can double it with explosive, uh, explosive something, a demo expert, that's the one. And then you've also got the explosive ball head to go along with that to boost it, and, and that's Nerd Rage, again. <laughs> Don't worry, it's all part of the plan, see? I was meant to do that the whole time. It does add a little bit of a nice punch to it, and... You know, make, it even reinforces the uh, the sound of the thing. Now you're firing explosive projectiles and it makes a Battlefield 5 sound when you shoot it. So, even better, right? I guess we'll, uh, we'll move on. We'll swim on to the next thing. Welcome to the glowing sea of silhouettes with uh, a, a mod rain called Rad Rain. And it's pretty gnarly. I quite like it. And... Here, here we go again with, like, the weirdness with the full precision meshes. You'll notice if I switch over to the tactical one, I go, like, normal, but everything sort of splashes in the air if I use the standard one. So, I guess that kind of narrows it down on which of those, um, specific attachments and stuff is actually full precision. And also, he gets a little bit of damage resistance to fire and a little bit of a debuff to cryo because... He is currently soaked in the big, big rains. I should have uh, crit on that first shot there. Anyways, take a couple of shots. Now, one thing that the uh, explosive projectiles do for you is they actually, uh, instead of having, a, oh wow, he, he, he got sent. Um, they're hit scan, right? So these bullets are hitting exactly where I'm pointing the moment I pull the trigger, which is good for targets at range, and you know what? I think I'm just going to continue to uh, go between these two, because that's probably the smartest way to go. The sniper knockdowns, they're the uh, real juice in this burg. Anyways, I'm going to go snipe him now, just so I get a couple of extra criticals if need be. We got one. That's alright. That's a knockdown. I'm going to knock him down once again. Where is it? There it is. Got 12 bullets left in that thing. That's quite enough. And we can just keep him at bay, shooting at nothing but a silhouette. I'll, I'm going to move closer so you can actually see what I'm shooting at. Ah, he's coming. This is a mistake. <laughs> he's, he's a big boy. Look out. He'll get ya. I'm going for a critical here just so I can squeeze some extra damage out. This really needs to be a knockdown. And is it? No, it wasn't, but we, we got out of it that time, and that's a lot of radiation that I took from taking a bath down there, and can we keep him knocked down with explosive projectiles? I think we can. This is like an ultimate, this is an ultimate combo right here, and now we're getting good damage because uh, we're up nice and close and personal, like, and he's uh, not liking that, and yeah, for some reason, this... There's this water stuff down here. Maybe that's where all the reactor fluids leaked. But anyways, that there was an FG-42. I mostly shot up monsters throughout this video, but I think its performance against the gunners shows you what it'd be like against things that are vanilla. So if you'd like to see this thing in your game, check out the links in the description. It should be down there. And would I recommend this mod? It's a good mod. It's well made, but I think there's still a ways to go before it's actually uh, perfect. There's a couple of things I need to do. Obviously, the animations is... Hang on a second. I'm doing blackface here. This is a rusty face glitch. There we go. Fixed ya. Now you're not going to get cancelled. But, um, I think that what they should do is fix the animations. Maybe fix the full, uh, full precision meshes. And actually, that'll affect you 
if you set on fire from a Molotov as well. So it's not just the mods that are incompatible with each other. There's actually a, uh, proper vanilla game ramifications of that. But, you know, maybe a little bit more a selection of attachments if they feel like it wouldn't go too far astray. But I think it's a pretty well put together mod. But still a little bit more that can be done here for it to be 100% perfect. And I think that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And we're back to... Uh, that's a full cycle. That's all 16. So we're going to go back to the OG tomorrow.